If we now open the summary.php file, which you'll find inside of the pages folder, I'm using the split view here so I can see the top and the bottom of the file as we're going to be using these two uh, basically when we're creating the if statements. First thing, after the login restrict front, what we're going to do is create a new object user equals new user. After this, we're going to create user array by using object user get user and then we use session get session uh, and we're going to use login login underscore front so now we check if is an empty user then we obviously know that the user has been logged in and right after require once i'm going to indent this one and if we do the else statement here else and inside of the else statement, we simply use helper, redirect, and we use this object URL, href error page. So if a user is not logged in, redirect him to the error page. Now, if I scroll down a little bit here in the top view, if we indent the entire block and move this object basket right after the if statement, now we're going to do object shipping equals new shipping and we're passing object basket as parameter then we have shipping equals object shipping get shipping options and we're passing user as the parameter then what we do clear all previews shipping sessions so we use object basket clear shipping that's in case of any session sessions and anything that we've got saved actually from the previous if we've previewed the uh, summary page before but then change our mind and we've done let's say some changes to the basket basically adding removing items updating quantities then obviously every time we end up on this page we need to clear the previous shipping um uh, obviously uh, information from the basket and so on and then we're going to get default shipping for the users selected country then shipping default equals object shipping get default and again we pass the user as parameter and then we simply check if is an empty shipping and is an empty shipping default then we proceed and inside uh, at the bottom of the file we need to obviously create the else statement for this as well so after we're going to indent this require once again then else and we're going to simply require once error hyphen shipping dot php which we haven't got yet but we will create create it a little bit later now after this if statement here if we obviously indent everything again and we're going to create shipping selected equals object shipping get shipping user as the first parameter and then shipping default i want the idea of this default shipping method and now we check if object basket basket add shipping and go for shipping selected then we obviously proceed let's indent this code again and another else statement which is exactly the same we're going to require error shipping so again require once another indent here and after this else require once error shipping. 